Did you know that as well as using username and Firebase authentication in Firebase, you can now use phone number auth where a verified phone is enough to sign a user into your app? In this video, I'll show you exactly how you can do that on iOS. You'll use the Firebase UI auth libraries that you can find at this URL. This open source library does all the heavy lifting for you so that you can focus on building your app and not all the many different user flows that you might need to take into account when implementing authentication. Before coding, the first thing you'll need to do is have a Firebase project in the Firebase console. If you don't have one already, you can create one at this URL. Once you've done that, you need to go into the authentication section and click on the Sign In Methods tab. There you'll see a list of the various sign-in methods, and on this list is phone. Flip the Enable switch to On, and then click Save. Your app can now handle Firebase phone authentication. Now, there are a number of things that you need to do to get Firebase working on an iOS application, including downloading the Google Service Info plist file, updating URL types, and configuring push notifications. You can find details on how to do all of that on this page. Because Firebase Auth UI does all this heavy lifting for you, it makes it really easy to use. So first of all, you'll create an instance of an FIR Auth for Firebase Auth and an FUI Auth for Firebase UI Auth. Next, you'll need to configure the providers that you're accepting for sign-in. Providers are things like Google Sign-in, Facebook, and of course, Phone Auth. This is used to create an FUI Phone Auth object which can then be called to set up the auth flow. These, of course, should match the ones that you set up in the Firebase console earlier. Earlier you saw we set up phone auth, now we're using phone auth in the client. This can be seen here. The flow triggers the facility to enter a phone number, and when the user touches verify, Firebase will send a text message containing the verification code. When this verification code is entered correctly, the sign-in will be successful. When the sign-in completes, the delegate will receive the did sign in with user function, which gives you an FIR user that you can then use to derive information about the user, or an error that you can use to present details to them about why the sign in failed. And now, if you look at your Firebase console, you'll see that the user is there and has a Firebase ID, so they're a full Firebase user able to access data based on your security rules. And that's it. As you can see, it's really easy to implement phone authentication on iOS using the Firebase UI libraries. You can learn more about it and download the sample app that I showed in this presentation at this link. You can also learn more about what you can do with Firebase at firebase.google.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Firecasts, conference talks, and a whole lot more. I'll see you on there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and happy Firebasing.